How are you? Good, you? I am good. I'm excited to be here. I yeah. have my album coming out in a week from yeah. today. It is good. By the way, we, we love you when you randomly pop into our iHeart building. Yeah. We should just give you a key card. <laughs> I'll, take <laughs> just, I'll take a key. That card. was one of my favorite moments so far. Is when you just we walked into the My FM studio when I was on. I was like, oh, hi, and then <laughs> came in and said hi. So that was that was special. So yeah, I'll give you my key card before you leave, and you can have access. Um, but yeah, tell us about that. There's obviously a new song, and you have a new album coming out, and all that. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah, so the album's called Head Above Water, and it's out February 15th. Okay. I spent three years working on this album. Uh, I had a health struggle. I went had Lyme disease. Sure. Spent a couple years in bed. So like I didn't really know like if I, that's where I've been. <laughs> I didn't yeah. really know uh, if I'd be able to like work and stuff and what the future held. But like I was really able to turn to music and it was very healing for me in that time. And uh, the first single, Head Above Water, I wrote uh, in bed about my experience. And um, I have a song called Warrior on the record. And uh, other than that, just you know. Really, uh, the process of this album was just like, just uh, lo I produced a couple songs and I uh, spent three years writing and perfecting an album that truly means a lot to me. Sure. But in, in three years, so, yeah. oh my God, it must have, this album must be like 20 uh, different versions yeah. of it in that time as well, right? Yeah. How, like, how many songs are on the album? Uh, just like 12. But how many, yeah. like, are, like 22. is it the original 12? <laughs> oh, 22. Okay. I was thinking you'd say like, like 100. I really... Uh, normally you go in the studio and you have like one day to like write and record and then one like you day? head out and then having the time was kind of cool. I think good for the songs. The songs are really sincere and heartfelt. Sure. Writing was really healing for me. And um, when you listen to this album, I think um, people will be able to like tell. And that's important to me. And I hope that the music is encouraging and inspires other people. Good. Good for you. Thank you. What else is going on in your life? You, you live in L.A., right? Yeah, I live in L.A. Yeah. I'm from Canada. Um, and that's what, it. What Just do you like to do? What, like, when you get downtime, do you get downtime? Um, what do you do? What can oh, you honey, do? And can you do my anything? life is all about downtime these days. Well, yeah. so what are you doing? Are you um, I'm just kind of, like, pacing myself, getting back into work and stuff. But sure. um, I paint. And I like to cook. Um, what are you cooking? What's your uh, <laughs> what's your specialty? I'm really good at Italian and pastas and stuff like that. Oh boy! In America, you guys say pasta, right? Right. I say pasta. My <laughs> friends make fun of me here That's in okay. the states. It's however you want it. <laughs> Which is funny because in LA, there's so many different people from mm -hmm. all different areas that I bet there's a thousand different ways to say everything. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but what else? I mean, what do you do? You get a chance? Like, what without giving your address, obviously. But like, are you in the valley? Are you in? The hills? Are you in um, I'm in Oaks? Uh, the Beverly Hills area. Okay. And um, I'm just trying to imagine, are you, are you able to like wander down to like Melrose and go to Joe and the Juice or go actually, to Restoration Hardware uh, or any of that kind of there's stuff? There's a store called Wasteland on Melrose and I just got this vintage, this Sick. Sergeant Pepper's Sick. vintage t-shirt there Sergeant Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band. Day. Legendary album from the Beatles and Best. movie, of course. <laughs> yeah. There's a waistline by my place in uh, Studio City as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh. It's really? great. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. This an, yeah, it's it's really good one. Right on Ventura, mm -hmm. off Laurel and Ventura, and there's a crossroads down the street from it too. Those are all good. I love that though. I like. I was always into vintage T-shirts before, and I just started loving them again because. The Wasteland has the best vintage t-shirts. They really do. Honestly. And like, I've I'll tried take to take them. clothes there to sell, and then I look around, I'm going, <laughs> okay, this is not <laughs> not what I should be, because it's my clothes are so boring compared to the cool stuff they I have I have there. a clothing line, Abby Dawn. Yeah. And so I, I make a lot of, like, almost, they almost look vintage. Uh, like, I, I took, like, the Jack Daniels logo. Cool. And I put, like, Abby Dawn on it. Um, Sweet. Sweet. It, yeah, I have like they like the t-shirts are kind of rock and roll looking, sort of inspired by vintage tees, and like I'll take those and like rip holes in them. I'll send you some. Good, please do. And mm. it's interesting about the uh, the the retro stuff because you have to be kind of careful what you get because like some stuff you want to do you try you too to, hard to get something. You have to extra make cool? uh, for me. I have to make sure that like I know the band that I'm wearing A, B, and know <laughs> the songs. I'm always like, okay, right. I have to like at least know. <laughs> you have to have seen <laughs> Sergeant Pepper's. <laughs> yeah. You have to know how just crazy that movie is and stuff. Oh my yeah, god! Right. So my friend today was like, "What's Peppers?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> my god. I was like, it's the Beatles." Come on, watch the movie, dude. I know. And ironically, isn't the Bee Gees the group that's in the movie too? Yeah. That's what's funny about it. So, uh, well, listen, we look forward to your new stuff. Thank Come on you. by, as you know, you uh, you are always welcome in our heart building. After hours, even call us up. We'll let you take advantage of the place and run the place. So, 
fun. Uh, but great to see you again. Nice Thank you so much. You.